Hey Royalty, hey Empress, hey Empresses. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Cancer, Summer Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First thing first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You're going to book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. I pray you are having a beautiful and blessed day. I pray you are having a beautiful and blessed week. I pray that your new moon was popping and your solar eclipse was popping, okay? I am sending you so much peace, love, and healing that energy. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, and keep you safe all days, always. Let's begin, Cancer. Okay, let's start. <laughs> I don't want to make it too long. But Cancer, you did pop out on Scorpio's reading, so go check out Scorpio's reading. Okay, if you have time, angels, ancestors, spirit guides at the highest white light, because they may have a message for you. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest bright light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Cancer? Summer rising, Venus, and North No, Cancer, somebody here, they're, they are having a hard... Oh, man, Virgo got this energy all the time to confront. Somebody here, they're scared to confront their shadow. They're scared to go deep. They're scared to do the shadow work. They're scared to go within. They're scared to confront how they really feel in regards to loving you. Somebody here knows that they want to be your lover. They know that you are their person, or they know that they got deep love for you. They know that you got deep love for them, but they scared. They scared to either confront you or tell you how they feel, or they're scared to confront, you know, their own feelings. Yeah, they're getting ready to receive clarity. You're, you have clarity that's coming towards you, Cancer. Okay, and this could be because of something that you have been believing in for a long time. But yeah, things are happening so that you can heal. This is beautiful energy. So you're about to heal. The number 17 could be significant. 17 breaking out to an 8. We are in year eight, 2024, breaking out to an 8, y'all. So it's about abundance, about money. It's about you healing at this time. Literally, different things are coming towards you the way that it's supposed to, in the energy that it is supposed to. Okay, yeah. Get ready for your, I don't want to kick that. Because <laughs> I knocked over the um, the camera in Scorpio's reading. I don't want to do it again. Yeah, get ready. And cancel. you guys got this energy before. On my Instagram page, I think the last reading I did for y'all when I said it gives nature, it gives nature. The nurture energy, you guys know how to nurture yourself. And it's like you guys are also going into nature, getting fueled up from energy around you. The plant, the flowers, the trees, the, the river, the lake, the ocean, whatever it is, you are getting fueled up. You're getting your energy source. You're getting poured into by the divine, by the universe, by God's beautiful world, by God's beautiful canvas. Literally, it's like your dreams are coming true. They are. And it has to do with not only you knowing yourself, you knowing how to cleanse your energy, but you knowing what to give energy and time to. Literally, Cancer, my gosh, y'all are in this beautiful, beautiful energy. Nature, I'm sorry, nurture energy, give me that like empress energy. You are nurturing yourself. Look at the number three on the top. That's that empress energy. So for someone here, like literally you are nurturing yourself. You're loving yourself. You're eating good. You could be eating healthier. Okay, you could be treating yourself, eating, eating whatever you want. You're just doing what you want to do at this time, but you're not, you're not forgetting to heal yourself or to nurture yourself, to give back to you as you pour out into others in the world. It's like it's it's coming back to you. The number 39 could be significant, 93. Someone could be born in 93. Someone could be 39 years old. Okay, we also have your five. Okay, so you could be leaving something alone or you're coming back home to self after feeling alone for a long time. You're coming home. You found the home. You found your home. Or you found the place where you want to make home. Okay, you could have been on a voyage and now you're coming back home. Or this could be someone that's coming back home after feeling alone. The number five could be something in May. Okay, someone could be born on the 5th, on the 3rd, or on the 9th. March could be something in May or September. Okay, literally the number four. And this is someone that either wants you to lead them or someone here that wants to take lead of a situation now. It could be a male. Okay, but somebody here is stepping into this leadership role. This could be emperor energy. This could even be you being this male or this emperor or you stepping into a place where it's time for you to leave. Okay, let's see. What else? Where are we at? I'm trying to keep it at like, <laughs> where, where are we at? Divine feminine. Did I not say that? Hey, divine feminine. Hey, empress. <laughs> hey, beautiful. 
Hey, gorgeous. Oh, hey, handsome. How you doing today? How you doing? <laughs> How are you doing? You could have air in your birth chart, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or you have an air sign that could be interested in you. There could be an air sign that wants to get to know you. Your spirit guides are all around you, too, so don't ever, don't ever doubt it. Don't ever doubt it. Okay, literally. And that's why, oh, and that's why you have, y'all, I don't know where the card went. <laughs> I think it went under my couch. Oh, man. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to have to get that later. Literally, it's not on the floor. It probably went under my couch somewhere. That was a good fortune card. Oh, it was yellow. I'm like, where did it go? And it flew deep. Oh, I got it. Oh, it's because there's other cards that are on the floor. That's why. So that's what spirit will do. Spirit will do that. Spirit will like throw card, like throw a card on the floor in a place where I, <laughs> I have to like dig deep for it. And it's because there's other cards that's needed. I love when spirit does that. There goes the card. <laughs> Good fortune. I love when spirit does that. I love when spirit does that. So, yeah. So, this could probably be for y'all. This is someone's biggest mistake. Okay? Somebody here has realized their, big, their biggest mistake in regards to you. It's all about you smiling for the haters. Scorpio, keep getting this card. So, you have you guys haters. So, I said, go check out Scorpio's reading. You could have different people that are hating and you just, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Smiling at them, you laughing. You're not laughing with them. You laughing at them. It's a difference. <laughs> Instead of laughing with somebody, you not you you laughing at them. Okay, and it could be because either somebody here they're in a confusion energy in regards to you, or they're gonna stay in this confusion energy because of the energy that they're choosing to exude out. Okay, so somebody here they're realizing things are not clear with them. This could be someone that you have firm boundaries up with, or you could have firm boundaries up in a situation at this time, and someone here could be realizing this. That's why you have good fortune coming in. There's a lot of blessings of wealth that's coming around you, and good fortune is in all aspects of your life. Literally, what else does, what else does cancer need to know? All because you, I can't do it again. So somebody here feels like your love is different, spiritually and mentally. Oh, baby, this is my song. <laughs> Trust in God. Trust in God. Believe in the divine, literally, and move forward. Move forward. Move forward, okay? This is the best time to move forward, all right? You are seeing things exactly the way that you are supposed to see it right now, Cancer, okay? Don't miss out on no opportunity. I'm telling you, don't miss out on this opportunity. You about to come in contact with someone that really loves you. Everything that you do, they're gonna love every step that you take, or they like you. Somebody here likes you a lot, but I picked up on love. Okay, so there's a card in here that says they love you and they like you. So somebody here, they like you, but that could end up evolving to love. Okay, take the necessary steps, take action steps moving forward at this time, too. You also need to learn more about a situation. Or you could be gaining insight as you move forward. But there's definitely love that I can't. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Like, I'm definitely been channeling. That's probably why these readings have been a little longer <laughs> today. Because I've been channeling and I and I tell everybody this. Like, y'all, if y'all been following me, y'all know. I say this all the time. My, like, my downloads, my messages, they, they be crazy. They be off the yin-yang when I, around the new moon and around the full moon because the veil is so thin. So not only is there an eclipse energy, we also got this new moon energy. My gosh, like, it's like, I, it's like, there's no veil. <laughs> They sitting right here, just <laughs> or literally speaking through me. So that's even cooler. <laughs> so we have here love is in the air. Okay, I just said they said like right on the card, but I said love because that's what they telling me. They telling me it's gonna be love. They say love. So I'm a listener and I'm gonna tell y'all it's love. Okay, <laughs> love is coming in. Love is here. Love is in the air, and there's about to be a five D shift. Five D is up there, as above, so below. We in the three D right now. So when every when you hear five D, when people say five D, five D energy, that means it's happening in heaven. That means it's happening in the ethers. That means it's happening up above. It's happening in the divine realm. It's happening where God is, where your angels and where your ancestors are. Okay, literally, that's where it's happening at. And nothing can happen down here unless it happens up there first. So if somebody goes to jail, they must have been in spiritual jail first. If somebody go broke, they must have went broke up there first. They must have exhausted all their spiritual good karma first. Literally, that's how it works. So it's as above, so below. Yes, this is divinely orchestrated. So yes, things are happening the way that they are supposed to happen. They're going to nest with the toy. That's confirmation. 
Things are happening exactly the way that they are supposed to happen. Okay. Anything else that Cancer needs to know? I'm trying to... I want to keep it under 20 minutes, Cancer, because I still got to do Pisces. And I'm not trying to make them so, so, so long. Yeah, you have the manifestation power. That's off the yin yang. You could be meeting... Oh, you could be meeting someone that has a beard or they sexy. Uh, ain't that Drake? That's Scorpio energy. <laughs> That's, great. That's Drake. And look who you got here. Yeah. So somebody here, they're realizing that you have power, power, power for manifestation energy. This is also a person that's realizing that it's time to regulate a situation. It's time to be in control. This is a powerhouse couple. Okay. That's Nipsey and, and, and Lauren London. So you're about to be a powerhouse couple with someone that is most definitely chosen. Okay. With the halo. Some either you're chosen or you're but you're gonna be connecting to someone that's chosen. There could be a Taurus in your energy, it's all about you choosing yourself, or there could be a Taurus that's about to choose themselves. You have your community, so people in your community know exactly what's going on, or you have different people in the community that are watching you at this time. It's time for you to go within to seek the answers. This, this is hermit energy, Virgo energy, because you most definitely have divine guidance. Your spirit guides are all here, they are talking to you, they are guiding you, okay? Because there's about to be a turning point, and they want you to have the proper planning. They want you to plan before something happens. They already want you to be prepared for it. Okay, literally, you also have your, because you also have your people that, oh, be mindful. I don't know, what's that, Aquarius energy? There could be an Aquarius. I think that's an Aquarius. There could be an Aquarius that's trying to throw you some type of mental forces. Nefertari. I literally cleaned my couch because it's the cloud couch, and I, I cleaned it. I washed it yesterday. Every time I clean my cloud couch, this wants to like use the bathroom, right? And have her little, and then go on my white couch. After I didn't use the power washer to wash my couch. Like, oh, <laughs> it makes me think. Like my next couch, I may do it like a cream color because I have a cat and I absolutely love her. I adore her. But I absolutely don't like it that she runs across the, the trim with her, I have to clean it. Like every week I gotta do the power wash, like for real. So I just cleaned it yesterday. So it's like she feels like it's a clean tread. It gets clean. I can't, I can't. That's what it feels like to me. She has been running around it all morning. Okay. So yeah, you have someone that's trying to throw you some type of mental attacks, mental forces. They're trying to play in your mental. This is someone that is tough competition. So either someone views you as tough, tough competition. So they're trying to throw you some type of mental attacks. Nefertari. Or this could be someone that feels like you have been throwing them some type of mental attacks. But somebody here, they're trying to get into your mental. They are. Somebody here views you as competition. They do. They do. Okay, this is someone that may need to choose themselves. So somebody here is in competition with you, but they need to be in competition with themselves. Spirit is saying they need to look at themselves in the mirror. Yes, somebody is also trying to go up against you in regards to what, what do you have? Material wealth, material forces, what you have. Wow, somebody here could be trying to compare. Like, if you have a house, if you have, like, a two-bedroom, they're like, oh, well, I'm going to get a three-bedroom, or I'm going to get a house, or I am. Yeah. <laughs> like, somebody's cuckoo. They should be trying to compete with themselves from yesterday. I tell everybody this, but it's, it's, there's energies out here that they don't like that. They will rather compete with you because they feel like it's more fun or their life is too boring, okay? They don't want to work on themselves. They'd rather attack someone else who's just in their purpose because they're jealous or they're hateful or they miss their purpose or they feel like they can't do it okay it's, it's always about envy or jealousy it's crazy somebody here is realizing like either you're about to have the best of both worlds or somebody here could have wanted to have the best of both worlds with you but you're supposed to be a power couple i just said it you're supposed to be in a power couple you're supposed to be with someone okay literally yeah be mindful of someone that's trying to show you fake support okay who got who, who's energy sagittarius do be connecting to a Sagittarius or a Libra. Be mindful of a Sag or a Libra. 404 on a timer. There could be people that are trying to be fake in your energy, Cancer. They want to show you fake support. They want to act like they love you or they care about you and they don't. They want to see you fail. They want to ride your coattail. They want you to do all the work. You see how he's playing and she's just like, oh yeah, I'm rubbing your, I'm rubbing your shoulders. I'm doing something. I'm, I'm an asset. This is no. No. <laughs> no. No. He could go ahead and buy one of those massages and, you know, back thingies or neck thingies you don't need this woman over here doing something while he's actually working somebody here they're trying to distract you from working and they feel like it's because you're you're you have a lot of empathy you're very empathetic you're very loving you also have a really nice body that coca-cola body you got you can look really good too okay somebody here they're looking they realize that you're looking at yourself in the mirror and they are 
and heartbreak over this. Somebody here didn't realize that you would have the strength or the courage to go to, to go towards something new. Okay, this is a narcissistic energy. Okay, that's very, very self-absorbed. You also have breath of fresh air. So somebody here realizes that you're going towards a breath of fresh air or you were a breath of fresh air in their life. Okay, this could have been someone that you have a family with. You may have wanted a family with this person or they have a family with someone. Okay, yeah, this self-absorbed individual. You also have your Scorpio that's here. Okay, somebody here has habits or negative habits or negative addictions. You could be connected to a Scorpio and this could be someone, this could be the Scorpio. Okay, that has bad habits or bad addictions, or this could be, you have Scorpio in your birth chart, but you, nonetheless, you have divine protection. That's just what it is. You are being divinely protected and divinely guided, okay? Young at heart. Somebody here realizes that you are young at heart. Pisces energy is here too. Okay. Let's jump to the tarot. What does Cancer need to know? We are at 15 minutes. Hopefully I can do a quick pull tarot. Tarot, I'm sorry. I wanted, I wanted to say cancer. Someone's name could be um, Carol because that's wild. Carol, someone's name could be Carol. Corral, somebody here could like Golden Corral. Someone here could be going to a place where they could, they could like Someone here, their name could be Colonel. You guys could like KFC. Someone here could be going to like uh, the beach where there's like conks or shells. I'm, I'm weird energy. I'm picking up on something about beach or water or carol, caroling. Someone could be born in the winter time in November or December when people are caroling or January. Okay, but it's like you have healed from some type of pain. The Ten of Swords in the reverse. Okay, it's time to take, yo, these are the same cards that Scorpio got. Like, I'm dead serious. It's kind of like, what? Holy Spirit, you know we're doing cancer, right? The message is like, wow, it's like the same. So I'm not sure. You heal from, you overcame something that was meant to take you out. You beat it, 17, 17 on a timer. And you have freed yourself. You took some type of leap of faith. You freed yourself. You went in a whole new direction and you trusted in God, not knowing where your next steps were going to be. Okay, and I'm seeing here, it's bringing you instability, security, a home. You could be getting ready to get a home. You could be putting down on a home with the Page of Pentacles or you are just starting fresh in regards to your finances and your resources. This is good news coming in. This is you like creating new streams of income that's meant to bring about stability and security to your life with the Four of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. This is expansion energy. Like, I'm like, what? This is the same, like, cards. <laughs> Tell me about this Fool card. What's the Fool about? Oh, there's too many cards. You had to go ghost, though. The Hermit. You went within. Virgo energy. What's the Fool about? You went within for an answer or for certain answers to to a situation that was very conflicting to you. Because somebody here was playing dirty. The Five of Swords. Somebody was all about playing mind games. Could have been a Taurus, okay? An Aquarius, an air sign. Somebody here wanted to play dirty with you, the Five of Swords. They wanted to play dirty. They wanted to, they wanted you to take a leap of faith with them into a marriage. Or this could have been someone that was married that kept saying that they were going to end some type of marriage for you. Take it how it resonates. Either somebody's currently married or somebody here could have been acting like they wanted you to, you know, marry them. Or somebody here could have been acting like they have morals, values, beliefs, things that they stand on and for, and they don't. They don't. They lie. Magician, they lie. Somebody here lies. Could be a Virgo. Yeah, and it's like they're not realizing that you're meant to have favor in your life. Blessing, somebody here wanted to sabotage your money. They wanted to steal from you, too. Somebody wanted to steal your riches, Cancer. This could be someone you have a child or family with, or this could be you needing to be emotionally grounded and really in tune with yourself, like not showing your hand. The, the king of cups, this could be a man that's very depressed now because he went back and forth. His plan is something about his plan about money didn't work. He didn't see this coming with the two of swords that you were going to have the courage, the strength, the, to step up. What's the seven of swords? Somebody here thought that they were going to be able to steal from you or take from you, okay? Someone here also knows that you come from like a wealthy family or you're meant to live a very wealthy or rich type of lifestyle and it's jealous energy. 
This could be someone you grew up with, you have history with, or this, this earth sign. This could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that you need to hold back from and move on from. You are this divine empress. Empress, walk the fuck away. I don't know, like, what it is. Walk away. I don't know who this is in your life or somebody here could be saying, trying to sell you sweet nothings or telling you different things just to have a stronghold on you or just to keep a hold on your money. You could have came into some type of instant money or instant security and now somebody's riding your coattail. They want to steal every dollar that you have. They also want to get you in some type of contract. So be mindful of signing contracts at this time too. With retrograde here, you shouldn't be signing nothing until after the 24th. Okay, <laughs> you shouldn't be committing to nothing serious until after the 24th. I don't care if it's a new moon or not. We still in retrograde. People be forgetting that. So be mindful of that because you have somebody that wants to get you into like a marriage or some type of high level situation. Okay, and it's because they're broke. The five of pentacles. This person don't have nothing. That's the truth. Don't sign. I'm dead. I'm dead serious. I'm serious. Like, like spirit said, baby, baby girl, don't be sugaring nothing this week. Cause I need, I need, <laughs> I like to sprinkle. I like to be all nice. My, you know, love and light energy, but spirit saying this week, it needs to be a little bit, not spicy, but just raw. <laughs> okay. It's kind of like with garlic, like you want to eat your garlic raw. You want to chop up the garlic and you want it to be fresh. Okay. You don't want the, the, the garlic that's sitting in the oil and, they don't have the nutrients you know so it's something <laughs> you want it spicy you want it cut up you want it the spirit said this week listen <laughs> and i see why because it's an eclipse on, it was an eclipse so that means anything that was hidden in the dark is now being brought like literally to the light so somebody here is in hardship and they're gonna want you to feel that just like them they're gonna want you to be in this energy just like them cancer be mindful of it, okay? <laughs> be mindful of accepting this person back into your life. It could most definitely be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay, anything else that cancer needs to know? I'm about to drink a sip of my water, okay? Because the last times I be doing readings and I be forgetting my water. And y'all don't know how thirsty I be when I be channeling. <laughs> Chef's kiss in the morning. Ice cold water. Ugh. Fresh water, not no tap water. The only tap I used to drink was in New York because, you know, New York got the, the best infiltration system of the water. Irrigation, I think that's called. So I used to drink that. Out here, uh -uh. <laughs> And I'm not big on, I don't know. So y'all could be thinking that y'all could be like that too. Y'all could drink from what, um, y'all could drink from bottles, but I prefer like glass cups, you know, I, I prefer that. It makes me drink more water for some reason. So be mindful of this fire sign. This is, could be an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. This is a fake friend, a fake ass friend, a fake ass person too. Okay. You need to be mindful of this. This could be an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. This Sagittarius was up in Scorpio's reading too, being fake as fuck. So I don't know who this is, but okay. Like mm, you are this earth angel cancer. <laughs> okay. So understand it. Open your heart to new love. Okay, you're about to be on your winning season, your winning team. Okay, you're about to be this winner, winner, chicken dinner. Somebody here could be eating chicken. Well, I'm hearing tuna, chicken, crab. Somebody here likes a lot of chicken, though. Somebody here likes, um, what is it called? Somebody here likes seafood, obviously. You're a cancer. My mom used to love her some lobsters. But somebody here really into seafood and crab. Somebody is really into seafood or chicken. Somebody here could live on a farm. With roosters, I'm hearing chickens, chickens, chicken dinner. Somebody here, you could be having chicken for dinner. You got to have chicken for dinner, whatever. You have a new house that's coming, a new house, a new car. You traveling. This is a new career, a new job, new money, and real love coming. And that's just what it is, Cancer. Anything else? You also have someone that's about to ask you out on a date. Oh, tell this person, no, this is your ex, okay? So this is a manipulative energy. You don't need to connect to this person. You will overcome, okay? You could be feeling like an urge to connect to them. Don't do it. You went through a spiritual awakening and you know that somebody's trying to put you in a third party. This could even be happening on Wednesday, okay? And it could be because you are a star. You could be in the public eye. You could be gaining a lot of recognition. You could be an inspiration. You could be well-known. Or you about to level up. And someone's plans in regards to trying to stop you didn't work. This devil energy. So the devil is utilizing your ex. So be mindful, Cancer, okay? The letter G could be significant. You could be this G. First, middle, or last initial, yours or theirs. 
Okay, be mindful of someone that's suffering from childhood trauma. Okay, they don't want you to know this. You also have here, what, what is this? Somebody was doing love spells on you, okay? And it's because they realized that you were the one and they were about to lose you for good. This could be a Leo. This Leo is something vicious too. And I don't mean to say all Leos, but what is going on with the fire signs? What's up? <laughs> What's going on? What is going on? Like, I got Leo and Sag in my birth chart. Like, what is going on here? Like, why the, but not as my, uh, you know, I'm a Scorpio, but I'm saying the people that have it as their, top sign like their sun sign what is happening it's like they're going karmic what is going on or working out of their ego and pride okay the letter o could be significant this was some this was destiny so whatever it is whatever the situation is in your life it was destiny for it to happen cancer someone is being set up okay or someone could have tried to set you up because they wanted it to be hard for you to move on from them hard for the next by money bag yo we have here all blockages have been removed Okay, so don't let the past hold you back. The, le the letter W could be significant. First, middle, or last initial, yours or theirs. Final messages for cancer. Because we already have 25 minutes. Final messages for cancer. Okay, somebody here is like, you know, you still love them. This is someone that feels that they could fool you. And they're working out of a group. Okay, this is also someone that has a whole group of people and everybody's fake. Their homeboys, their homegirls, everybody's fake. Okay, they're on demon time. This group is full of demons. They got a pack of wolves. So somebody here, they like, oh, I got this. This is my homeboy. This is my homeboy. This is my, they all demons. They all demons. That's why they're together. Okay. Like the lone wolf is usually like the black sheep. They don't have the, the, the alpha male, the alpha female. They don't have no pack of group of people. What you mean? They alphas for a reason. They, they, they lone wolf energy. So somebody here, they like having a big group of people or they have a group of people. They're a demon and everybody in that group, <laughs> everybody in that group is demons too. They all need to go through some type of cleansing energy. Okay, you could be needing to go to your hometown or your family town. I'm seeing here. You also need to go treat yourself, Cancer. Okay, go out. Somebody is still lying. They are a liar. And they could be trying to gaslight you. And you didn't imagine it. Okay, you are sunlight, Cancer. Never forget that. Okay, there is somebody that is genuinely in love with you. This Aquarius. Aquarius has been coming out heavy. So, Aquarius. This is, <laughs> I don't know who is Aquarius is, but this Aquarius has been loving on Scorpio and loving on Cancer. I don't know. Is, is Aquarius the new love coming in? <laughs> Somebody here is they are in love with you and your ex is only going to try to come back because they're going to be receiving karma and they know that they owe you an apology and they are lying to you or they have lied about changing their ways and evolving. This person's also scared because they're going to jail or prison and they could be trying to hook up with you or have sex with you or throw sex love magic at you to make you love them, make you feel sorry for them and make you hook up with them because they're in hopes that if they could steal some of your energy, they could have good luck coming their way instead of the bad luck that they are in at this time. Remember. You connecting yourself, especially your sacral chakra to someone or energetically to someone is a covering to them because you are protected. You come with protection. Understand that. You being the chosen one, you rocking with Father God, you come with that covering of light, that covering of protection. Anybody outside of that covering of protection, they get it. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they don't, if they don't have that covering, if they're rocking with the devil, they going to get hit. So somebody here could be trying to connect with you because they want that covering of protection back over their life because they're in some shit. Okay, I'm just being real. This is also someone that has stolen money from you before. So do not trust this person, okay? They are spying on you too. I cannot make it up. Spirit is saying you need to avoid this person. Somebody wants power and control over you. That's it. I hope this resonated with you, Cancer. May peace and blessings be to you always. And I will be seeing you on the next video.